Uh, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Taylor, uh, and this is an online recording for CDC 101 uh, Public Speaking. Um, before I introduce myself, um, I think it would be important to go over uh, some of the nuts and bolts of our course. Uh, so I'm going to try to record a video at the beginning of every week to make sure everyone is up to speed for what we're doing uh, this semester. And hopefully that will uh, answer a lot of questions you guys might already have. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this introductory video is uh, introduce you to the D2L, uh, the textbook we're using, uh, the first assignment, uh, and things like that, just to make sure everyone's up to speed. And maybe if some people were, were unsure what's going on, that could answer some of your questions. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and then we're going to go into our D2L module uh, just so I can help you guys make some sense of some of the things that may not make sense to you guys right now. So let me share my screen here. All right, so this is our D2L module here. And uh, yesterday I posted an announcement, a generic announcement, uh, encouraging you guys to take a look uh, at our D12 module just to get a feel for it, uh, see where everything is. Uh, but today I will go over that in greater detail to help you guys uh, make sense of the, of the course. So here is where you will find all of our announcements, and that is the course home section of the D2L. Uh, and I will put announcements there not every day, uh, but almost every week you'll, you will find uh, announcements. And, and some announcements will be sent in the form of an email. Uh, but every everything that's pertinent course communication will be here. So it would be useful to check this almost every day. Uh, pick a time. Uh, I usually do things in the afternoon. Uh, so pick a time in the evening uh, and, and, and see if there are announcements uh, there for our course. All right, the next thing uh, that we should look over for our course uh, when we look at our D2L uh, module shell for this course uh, is the content. And this might look a little bit different than your D2L. My D2L looks different because I have the, the teacher D2L and you guys have the student D2L. But if you click on the content section of, of our course, then uh, the first place you want to go is to the overview section. In the overview section of D2L, I have our course syllabus posted here. Uh, and you can see that it has all the nitty gritty information. Uh, it has my name, my email, and that's the best way to contact me. But it also has uh, my office hours listed here. Uh, and since we're still in the midst of a global pandemic, uh, I, I would find that it is prudent for us to have our office hours on D2, excuse me, on Zoom. Uh, and, and these are my times, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and also by appointment. Uh, if you're going to broker a meeting with me on Zoom, you would have to let me know anyway. Uh, so just let me know if you want to meet with me uh, and we can do that. But these are the, this is the best time. These are my best windows because these are my contractually obligated office hours. So let's take a look at the course description here. Uh, this is our syllabus. Uh, I assume literacy, uh, if you guys are in college, so I won't read through these, uh, but essentially this is a public speaking course where you are uh, going to learn how to uh, speak publicly better. Uh, I'm going to give you the quick and dirty tips and skills with the intention of these skills translating into your other classes where you might have to do presentations or give talks. Uh, that, that is the goal, but it's, it's become a more persuasive and a more effective speaker. Um, so that's what we will work on through the course of this semester. And I think that I have cultivated a, a series of speeches that will be uh, interesting and fun for everybody, but also uh, beneficial to your education. Um, so the, the, the one important thing that I would like to get across is that this is the required textbook for our course. Uh, it's Sims Wyeth, The Essentials of Persuasive Public Speaking. Uh, I, I believe that it is uh, for sale in the Cal U bookstore, uh, but if you want to, you could probably get it on Amazon or eBay uh, or probably an ebook online for less. Uh, 
uh, but the choice is yours. But we will use the book throughout the course of the semester, as recent as this uh, coming week. Uh, and I can just grab the book quickly. This is what it looks like. It's the uh, Essentials of Persuasive Public Speaking. Uh, and it's not that big of a book. And I think you can get it for around 13, 14 bucks. So it won't break the bank, probably like some of your other textbooks. So let us take a look at the assignments for our course. Uh, and that is the attendance and participation. So essentially this is an online class. So I, I can't assess you guys for raising your hands, but I, need, I can assess how often you guys come into the class. Are you doing the work? Uh, and that's how I will assess your attendance and participation. If you're not logging in, you're not doing the work, your grade will reflect that. And I give those grades twice throughout the semester. I give them at midterm and I give them at the end of the semester. Uh, the next assignment that we will do throughout the course of the semester is the D2L reflection and response. Uh, that is worth 100 points. Uh, and there are 10 D2L posts uh, throughout the course of the semester, not every week, uh, but essentially, whatever we're working on, the D2L posts will reflect that. And then you'll, as, as if you've had other classes, you'll read a couple and you'll respond. Uh, and then the first assignment is the introductory speech. Um, and I, we'll go over that later. And then we have an informative speech, a persuasive speech, a sensory aid speech, a special occasion speech. And then you will write a few speech reflections throughout the course of the semester. Um, but when it's time to do those assignments, I will give everyone an assignment sheet here on D2L to make sure that you know what's going on. I just won't say, hey, make a speech and I'll grade it. Uh, I will give you guys very clear guidelines. Um, you can see here is the, uh, the point spread for our course. Uh, every, the class is out of 500 points. So when you get X amount of points, uh, your grade will work within that range. Uh, the course policies are simple. Uh, I'm only going to be assessing late work. There's no cell phone policy. There's no coming to class late policy. This is an online class, so you can't do those sort of things. Uh, but just turn your work in on time. Here are the university policies. Uh, I would encourage you guys to read over them. Uh, the academic integrity policy, the students with disabilities policy, uh, and then a, other, a, a list of other uh, useful offices that might help you uh, throughout your time at Cal U. Um, and then lastly on the syllabus, we have the tentative reading and assignment schedule. Uh, and the way this works is that we will do our course week to week. I will unlock the class one week at a time uh, and you have one week to do that week. Makes sense. Uh, so for example, here is week one uh, where we have the course overview and that's what we're doing right now. Uh, and then the welcome video, that's this is to do that. Uh, the reading. So in the course of this week, you're going to want to get in the book, uh, the, the, the Essentials of Persuasive Public Speaking, and read uh, the first chapter, uh, The Power of Speech. Uh, if you guys can see, there you go, The Power of Speech. Uh, read that. It's, uh, the, the chapters don't have a lot of words on the page. So that it's, it doesn't have much. So you could read through the first chapter fairly quickly um, if you decided to do that. And then we will go over the assignment for the introductory speech. Uh, but then, so you will always have until uh, the, the end of the week to complete that work. And then when the new week starts, you'll do that work. Um, if, if you're industrious, you could probably get the work done in a day or two. Uh, and then you won't, you don't have to worry about uh, till working on it until uh, like Sunday night. Uh, but if you if you procrastinate, just know that you have until the end of each week. Uh, so like, for example, you'll have until the 30th to complete all this work before we go to the next one, the 31st to complete that work. Uh, and then every week, it's just that's the way it is. And I will post a, a video like I'm doing today every week to make sure you're up to speed on everything. Uh, I really won't lecture too much, uh, but I will lecture a little bit throughout the course of the semester. Um, and, and that's pretty much it for how uh, the, thing, the, uh, the course works. Uh, so every week you have a module of which you can look over. 
Uh, so this is the week one module. And then you'll just click on that and it'll tell you what you need to do this week. And I just copied this from the syllabus about what we're working on in any, any given week. Uh, so you would watch the video that you're watching now uh, and then you would read. And then if there's an assignment that would be posted there. Uh, and then any useful file would be below all of this. So here is the introductory speech assignment sheet, which we will go over. So just click on that and then you can have the introductory speech assignment sheet. And I will give these for each assignment we always do throughout the course of the semester. So you see here, here's the class and then here's the introductory speech. That should be 35 points, not 25 points. All right, so I'll read through this. So for your first speech, you will deliver a short speech introducing yourself. You should highlight your name and nickname if applicable, where you are from, city, town, etc., your major, why you chose your major, and something interesting about yourself. So maybe you can solve a Rubik's cube in 15 seconds, or, or maybe you've been to 50 countries. I don't know, something interesting, but nothing too personal. I don't, sometimes people be like, oh, well, I don't have a gallbladder. Or I'm like, I don't, I don't need to know that. Uh, but if you have anything interesting, maybe you are like a world-class skier, or, or you can dunk a basketball, whatever the case may be, just something interesting that might separate you from other people uh, that makes you unique. And then your audience for all of your speeches this semester will be me. So I will be looking through everybody's speeches. Uh, but back to the uh, task, all you will do is you will introduce yourself in a speech of two to three minutes. Uh, you will highlight the following, which we went over in the paragraph. So I, don't, I need not do it again. And then the evaluation is simple. Do you do it? And is the speech between two to three minutes? A uh, note. If you are over three minutes, you will be deducted one point for every 36 seconds. So if, you're, if your speech is three minutes and 30 seconds, I will deduct a point. If your speech is four minutes, that will deduct two points. So be sure to keep it within bounds. Uh, but if you are under two points, I mean, excuse me, if you are under two minutes, you will be deducted one point for every 15 seconds you are under the minimum time requirement. So if you are, if you are just go for a minute and a half, and you can lose two points uh, very, very quickly. Uh, so be sure to work within that range. Now, if you're like one minute and 59 seconds, that's okay. If you're three minutes and two seconds, that's okay. Uh, but don't go over the, the, don't go under 15 seconds and don't go over 30 seconds and you'll be in good shape. Uh, and that speech is due on D2L under the assessments and assignments by 131.21 at 11.59 p.m. So that is Sunday night at 11.59 p.m., just right before midnight. All right, so people might, you guys might be curious as to how can you record these speeches? Uh, well, I've found a, a simple way to do that. And uh, we're gonna, tr I'm gonna try to go over that on here now. I might have to type out the instructions, but I think uh, we can we can figure that out. So if you are familiar with Zoom, all you need to do is log into Zoom by yourself. Uh, that, Cause that, that's how I'm recording these lectures. I just log into Zoom by myself and then I record it. Uh, so at the, at the bottom of your Zoom screen and I'll probably put some instructions on D2L uh, just to make this easier for you guys. Cause I don't think I can record myself recording myself. Uh, is that at the bottom of your Zoom screen, uh, there is a option to record yourself. Um, and you can see that at the bottom, right next in the middle, there's it says share screen. And then right next to that, it says uh, record lecture or, or record. Uh, when you record that, then it will ask you if you wanna save it to the computer you're using or the cloud. I would suggest for your guys sake, saving it to your own computer uh, and then and then you're and then you will save that zoom and then that will account as your speech and then you will just upload that to d2l and i will show you guys where you should put that so i will share my screen again and then if you look at the uh, ass assessments section of d2l there is an assignment section uh, and then there it is right there you would just click on that and then you could upload this and you could upload the file 
Uh, very simple. Um, I think that about covers the introductory video uh, for our class. Um, if you did watch it, um, good, it will make things a lot easier. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about anything pertaining to the course, do not hesitate to email me. I would be more than happy to help you out. Um, otherwise, uh, have a great first week and work on the first assignment. Thank you.